Hello, my name is Barry Adams. I'm a volunteer at the Steele County Historical Society. We're standing in the Lamont Cemetery off County Road 7, southwest of Owatonna, Minnesota. Neither the tombstone inscription here nor the obituary in the newspaper in March 1921 tells of the remarkable experience that William Worthy Day endured during the American Civil War. We invite you to come to the Steele County Historical Society to study William's reminiscences or to learn of his half-century life in Steele County. When the Civil War began in the spring of 1861, William Day did not join right up. He said he had just planted his crops and wasn't situated to go. And to boot, he was a newlywed. But in just six months, William signed up and went off to war. For a while, his wife Olive received letters letting her know that Will had survived the marches and the battles. But the letters abruptly stopped after September 1863. William Worthy Day was captured by the Confederate Army at the Battle of Chickamauga. For the next 15 months, Olive worried and William suffered. Libby Prison, Danville Prison, Florence Prison, and by far the worst of all, Andersonville Prison. Come to the Historical Society and we'll be happy to go over all of his 200 pages of reminiscences experience by experience. At An about Andersonville, he said, I was so diseased with scurvy that my limbs were so contracted that I was obliged to walk on my tiptoes with the aid of a long cane held in both hands. My limbs were swollen and purple in color, my gums were swollen and purple, and my teeth were loose. Will summed it all up in a letter he wrote to Olive the day he was released. He said, I shall not tell you anything about my suffering while a prisoner until I can talk it to you. I feel very weak and em emaciated and I'm, have not strength enough to chop wood enough to build a fire. So much for scurvy and diarrhea. My pen is too poor and I cannot collect my thoughts sufficiently. William survived it all and after the war he and Olive raised Belinda and William Jr. in Lamont Township. William W. Day was one of those Civil War veterans who showed up at the schools each year to remind the youngsters of their service and of their comrades. Will died in 1921 at age 81 and is buried next to his wife, Olive. Come to the Steele County Historical Society to learn more about William W. Day and about the other 700 Civil War soldiers. The nearest significant Civil War site is only as far away as the nearest cemetery at the veteran's tombstone. The Steele County Historical Society's mission is preserving and sharing history today for tomorrow.